Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Very, very fine. Thank you. And you, how are you too? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So you are not driving. You got early to home. Yes, I'm home. <laughs> That's great. Good for you. For you. So how was so, uh, how was uh, traffic? Um. Uh, at the time uh, that I come back to my home is regular, not so heavy. Okay, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. And I can see Henry is not driving either. Great. Hello, Henry. Hi. How are you? Hey. Hello, Henry. How Hello. are you? Thanks. Thanks for asking. I, I, I'm fine. Uh, I... Uh, today was two hours from Santa Ana to San Salvador. I, I stay in San Salvador now. All right. Tomorrow we All we right. have a meeting. Uh, we have a meeting tomorrow, uh, AIM in San Salvador. So I back to San Salvador today. Um. Uh, okay. Good for you. Uh, okay. Good for you. I, I can listen to an echo. I, I don't can know listen if to an echo. You don't, I don't have know because headset. Maybe you don't have headset. Maybe. No. Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah, when, I don't when know your why, microphone is open, when, when your I microphone is open, echo. I listen an echo. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. Uh huh. Right, there is an echo. Right now. Um. No, nothing. Great, you fix it. <laughs> Okay, very good. Thank you. Now it's working. Now? Yes, now it's perfect. Oh, okay. It's perfect. <laughs> I, I, see, I knew, uh, it's an uh, other configura configuration, the, the microphone. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Henry. Thank All you. right. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for the ones who has the camera on. I can see Celia. How are you, Celia? Hello, good evening. I am fine. You? I'm great. I'm happy to see you here. Let's see, let's see. I can see Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you? Good evening, Miss. <laughs> How are you? How do you feel today? Uh, fine. Relax. <laughs> ah, very good. Excellent. Okay. And okay. Thank you everyone for having the camera on. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. The ones that are driving, please be careful. Okay. And I hope you get, uh, you can get home safely. Now today is Thursday. Okay, we are about to finish the week number two. Imagine everyone, so time flies. And just a reminder, remember that this week we have the first written exam on the platform. I can see some of you already did the exam, some of you haven't. And uh, just remember the exam is in the week number two. So my recommendation is, as always, please finish the unit, okay? Finish the exercise um, in the week number one, and then you can complete the exam. Just remember that I'm going to upload the grades tomorrow, okay? I'm going to share how the platform is going, and you can see how much you have at Advanced. So we are here in the week number two. Remember, you must get at least 100%. Okay, some of you already finished the unit, so super, super good job. Some of you haven't finished some of the exercises, so please continue working. And here we got the exam. So just remember, the exam is in the week number two, okay? This one is the exam, the midterm 
Okay, it's not so long. So please try to do it today or tomorrow, as soon as possible, okay? Please. Now, if you have questions about the platform or if you have questions about the exam, if you need help, tell me and I can help you. But it's important to you, do it, okay? It's not optional, it's an obligation, all right? Now, I'm going to start sharing the presentations for today. And before starting, I want you to, uh, when I want to say something. Um, sometimes you are listeners, okay? Y escriben la palabra oyente antes de su nombre y eso me indica a mí que son listeners. So, perfect, that's great. Just remember, eh, si al siguiente día ya no son listeners, Acuérdense de borrarle la palabra, all right? Si no, yo voy a seguir pensando que el resto de los días ustedes continúan como listeners, ¿ok? Así que eh, be careful with those eh, details. Now, I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see it, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. So today is February 9th and... We are in the week number two, unit number two. What is the topic that we have been studying this week? What is the main topic? Do you remember? Um, the present perfect, oh, no, the present simple. Present simple, simple present. exactly, correct. <clears throat> what else? Present object. The frequency adverbs, very good. So one of the characteristics of the simple present is that we use frequency adverbs. So let's do a practice. We are going to continue talking about everyday tasks and everyday activities. And I have here a board game. So I'm going to pick some of you and Randomly, you will have to answer some questions, okay? But before starting, I'm going to check attendance. So if you listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Eh, Blanca Elizabeth. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay, Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Juan José. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Present. Carol Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Kenia Elizabeth. Okay. Um, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. All right. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Eh, Nelson Orlando. Yeah. Okay. Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Thank you. Um, Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Jan Siquelita. Um, Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Right, Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So let's start. I have here the board game. I'm going to pick someone and I'm going to throw the dice. Let's see, let's see. Remember, the idea is try to give me details. More details you give me, much better, okay? 
So let's see, let me show you again the picture. Can you see the game? Yes? Yes. Right, yes, okay. So here I have different questions, okay? And in all these questions, we have some frequency adverbs, okay? And here I have the dice. So let's see what is the question that you must answer. I'm going to pick one of you and I'm going to start with ta -ta 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 -ta. Karen Rocio. Hello, Karen. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, Karen, let's see. Six and two. So we got six here and two. So this is your question. What kind of things do you hardly ever buy? Mm -hmm. Um. How do you say hardly in Spanish? I'm sorry? How do you say hardly in Spanish? Hardly, hardly ever. Yes. Okay, hardly ever is very weird, like casi nunca, almost never. That is the meaning of hardly ever. I think... Um... Every day. Every day? Okay, but look Every at the day. question. The question says, what kind of things you hardly ever buy? For example, in my case, I hardly ever, or I almost never, right? Um, buy, let's see. Something that I don't usually buy, maybe, is alcohol, <laughs> okay? So that is something that I hardly ever buy. How about you, everyone? Can you give me an example of things that you hardly ever buy? Remember, hardly ever is like almost never, just from time to time. Can you give me examples, volunteer? Me, teacher. Yes. Uh, I hardly ever buy uh, milk. <laughs> milk, okay, yeah. very good. Because uh, I don't like go to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good point. What else? Anyone else? Can you tell me another thing that you almost never buy? Uh-huh, Tony? I hardly ever buy blue cheese. What is that? It, it's a French cheese like smell very, very bad. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. Very good. So, Karen, how about you? Think about something that you almost never buy. I hardly ever buy uh, buy. Soda. Soda. So you don't like soda? No much. All right. Very good. Very healthy. Excellent. So remember, hardly ever is like almost never. Okay. Very good. So Karen, tell me, pick someone. Pick one of your classmates, please. Mm, Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Abigail, hello. Uh, Abigail Bonilla, because Mejia, I think that is a uh, listener. Okay. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm happy. And let's see what is the questions that you will answer. It says two and three. Okay, two and three. This is your question. Look at this. Mm, yes. 
What do you almost always do after class? I always sleep after <laughs> the class. <laughs> okay, okay. What else? Can you tell me another action that you almost always do? Mm, I always play Duolingo ah, after the class. That's mm -hmm. great. So you continue practicing. That's great. Yes, okay. I I have uh -huh. um, um, 133 day the Raja. Raja. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good for you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Carla Sofia Chévez. Okay. Hello, Carla. Hello. Okay, Carla, look at this. You will answer the question 5-1. Let's see this one. Okay, look. What things sometimes make you feel nervous? <clears throat> Many things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for example? Mm, dry. Driving dry. makes you feel Driving. nervous? Mm, okay, yes. <laughs> okay. What else? Uh, see a spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One more? Um, <clears throat> in a place, a small place with uh, many people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I like that. How are you? Uh, how about you, everybody? Can you mention some things that makes you feel nervous? What do you think? Snakes. Snakes, definitely. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what else? How about imagine when your supervisor or when your boss says, hey, I need to talk to you. Don't you feel nervous? Always. <laughs> no. Always. No? Not really. Okay. How about during a, an interview? Imagine that you will have an interview. Do you feel nervous? No. No? No. no. If you are driving and you see the police officers? Heart attack. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> the way that you are driving, huh? Okay. I make the dead. <laughs> My goodness, boys. Drive safely and legally, please. Okay, one more. Let's see. Carla, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Mm, I see a Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Henry. Okay, Henry. Five, three, let's see. This is your questions. Okay, it says, what things do you never worry about? Hmm, interesting question. What things do you never worry about? Uh-huh, Henry, tell me. Hello, Henry, are you there? Sorry, sorry, I muted. Okay, go ahead. I never worry, uh, finish the coffee. <laughs> so you never worry about it? Okay. I make, I make more coffee. <laughs> I don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. I don't what? worry, uh, interview. I don't worry, okay. interview. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Anything else? I don't worry that uh, spider, I don't worry. You don't worry about spiders? 
No, I was afraid of don't worry. <laughs> That's great. And I don't worry if, if I receive the the bill of a credit card. Don't worry. <laughs> he has a lot of money. Ah, okay. Good. Oh. It's a short bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Henry, pick someone, please. I see you. I see you. I see you. Edwin Enrique. Edwin. Okay. Hello, Edwin. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, six and two. Ah, but I already asked this question. I'm going to pick another one. Okay. Okay, let's see. One and six. Look at this question. It says, let's see, let's see. What sports do you sometimes play? Uh... I sometimes play soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, I sometimes play uh, basketball. <laughs> All right. But, but it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> About basketball or both? Uh, excuse me? About basketball or soccer? Which one is the lie? Ah. Uh, basketball. Okay, but soccer? The, you play soccer sometimes. It's my see, it's, yes, it's my ah. favorite uh, sport. Okay, nice. Okay, Edwin, pick someone, uh, please. Uh, okay, let me see. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good, very good. Marvin Orantes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Marvin. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm happy. Enjoy I'm happy. the class. <laughs> Very good. Okay, look at these. Two and four. So your question is, oh, you have free question. Okay, Marvin, you got the opportunity to ask a question to someone. I, I pick up the someone the class. Yes, the ones that you prefer. Mm -hmm. Pick someone and you mm -hmm. will ask a question. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Um, I choose um, uh, Carla Sofia. Okay, and what is the question? You can ask your own question or you can ask one of the ones that you can see here. Uh, my question is uh, on question or I pick up the table? You can pick. Okay. Okay. Um, Carla, Sofia, what do you I... worry about? Como? <laughs> Repeat, please. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it's the same. The question, the bore. Uh, what do you worry about? What do you worry about? That's the question. Yes. Ah, okay. Aha, uh -huh, Carla. Worry. The... <clears throat> worry. Exactly. So, what things do you worry about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> money, for example, do you worry about money or about a uh, pandemia, maybe? <laughs> okay, uh, oh, another question. Um, How often do you uh, do you visit uh, to to beach? That's a good question um, too. I visit the beach 
uh, maybe two twice um, a year. <laughs> okay, so twice a year. When we say twice, it's not necessary to this say two, two. Uh, exactly, okay. only twice a year. Okay, okay. very good, everyone. Excellent. Um, so, you. if you see, here we got a lot of questions. Because of the time, I cannot ask one by one. So, if you want to practice these questions, um, I can send it on WhatsApp group. Right, I'm going to send it and in your free time, if you want to practice some of the questions, you can do it, okay? So, questions about the frequency adverbs? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, example. Uh, what, what is the question? Well, what oh, is if, the... You, if, you have, if you have questions about the frequency adverbs about the topic? Um, of course. Uh -huh. What is the question? Um, how often? The meaning no. of how often? Uh, I, I didn't catch it. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay. If you have questions about the topic frequency adverbs, mm, something that no. you didn't understand or something that it's not no, clear. I, I very clear. All right. Excellent job. Okay, everyone, we will continue. I already sent the link on WhatsApp's group. So if you want to practice these questions in your free time, you can do it. Okay. Now we are going to continue with today's topic. And we will continue combining simple present frequency adverbs. All right. And we will continue practicing. Please, if you have questions, just let me know. Okay. Now, we will, uh, the topic for today basically is just simple present practice. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me. Thank class you. Go objective. ahead. At the end of the class, Participants will describe a college routines at the workplace using simple present. Thank you. So the idea, everyone, is that today is that we already know how to use simple present. We already know how to use the frequency adverb. We already practice everyday tasks. Now we will be able to describe my routine at work and also someone else routine, okay? So let's start describing a colleague routine. When we are talking about colleague, is a synonym of coworker, okay? So I need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read today? Me, coach. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Who else? Me. Celia. Oh, who say me first? No sé quién dijo me first. Ladies Celia? first. Ladies first. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to show you. So Celia, you will be Celia. <laughs> and Marvin, you will be Marcos. Okay. okay. Yes. Go ahead. Good morning, Marcos. Who is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interview interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about, about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in and the, and the song minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual checking the, the personal in ready and ordering the inventory. A top ordering the inventory was Janet Joe. All right. Thank you, everyone. Now, pay attention to this conversation. Here we got some um, key vocabulary about everyday tasks. So, for example, Interviewing some potential employees. Let me ask you, do you interview 
potential employees at work? Of course. Um, yes, I do. How often do you interview potential employees? In my case, when I need uh, new employees in a, uh, in a position or, for example, when I, when I have a turnover or rotation uh, that I need a new people, the human resource, uh, give me some uh, candidate? Yeah. Okay. And I interview uh, the the some someone's uh, girls or or boys depend uh, what is the position that I need. All right. Very good. Interesting. Anyone else? Do you interview some potential employees at work? Mm. In my, case, in my case, I don't uh, interview uh, a somewhere, but uh, I work uh, in re human research and, and, and my co worker always uh, uh, do interview some potential employees because um, uh, every day. <laughs> uh, Every day, uh, meeting with the different people for interview, uh, uh, she checked the potential for everybody. Mm, all right, interesting, very good. So, new vocabulary, write it down, write it down. Now, look at the next one. Talk to the staff. How often do you talk to the staff at work, everyone? Mm -hmm. Do you talk to the staff? Uh huh, Tony? Yes, I talk with my staff. And usually it's every day. All right, sounds All good, right. sounds good. Who else? In my work, uh, always uh, meeting in the morning uh, with the staff for and say it, um, what do you say? Um, what do you say, meta? Goals. Uh, goals, uh, uh, ah. Yeah. Everybody meeting for the uh, shared goals, everybody. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Now, imagine that you have this schedule, but you need to make some changes. So you need to risk schedule some activities how often do you reschedule activities at work how often everyone or you never rescheduled hardly ever hardly ever all right very good anyone else did you what do you mean you wrote? Reschedule is uh, the schedule in the past. No, I don't know. Mm, what happens is that we have schedule, right? Mm. But if you want to make some changes, if you need to modify it, so you say, hey, I need to reschedule this. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So how often do you reschedule some mm -hmm. activities? When the people uh, change the schedule for one activity or oh, I don't know. Okay, so we need to change it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody tell me, how often do you make some calls? Many times. Many times? Many times, yeah. <laughs> okay. During the day. So every During single day, day, a lot of times. Yeah. All right, okay. And the rest of you? How often do you make some calls? Remember, let's try to use frequency adverbs. So never, sometimes, hardly ever, 
Seldom. Okay. Uh -huh. I never make some calls. <laughs> never? never? Okay. No. And the rest of you, do you make some calls at work or not? In my case, every day. Every day. All right, very good. Now, check that the personal is ready. Do you do that at work? Do you check if the personnel is ready? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. Every day? In the morning, for example, in my in my case, in, in my work, um, every morning when I uh, is at seven o'clock uh, with my supervisors. Uh, checks uh, if the all peoples in your in your units is complete and is is they have the necessary for your work and every morning uh, ah. make these activities hey that sounds good very good very good and now the last one ordered the inventory so do you do that at work how often how often do you order the inventory never sometimes always uh-huh or not you don't do that nobody nobody seldom, ordered seldom, seldom. Uh, we have people for that ah okay very good very good so if you see these is basically some phrases about daily tasks that we do right in our work okay so we are been we have been talking about these activities daily task now imagine someone um, that works at a restaurant okay imagine the activities that a person who works at a restaurant do for example meet the head chef to review the weekly menu that's something that a person at a restaurant do right call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs that's something that they do now can you tell me which of these activities are similar to the activities that you do? What do you think? Which of these activities are similar to the activities that you do at work? For example, some of you mentioned Ah, I interview some people, right? So this one can be similar. Some people can say, well, I always uh, make phone calls, right? So could be. What else? Another of these activities are similar to the ones that you do at work? Check the weekly schedule. Ah, very good, very good. Donny, how about you? Yes, me too. Check the weekly schedule and talk to the talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Yes. And the schedule, okay, very good. So imagine maybe you are not working at a restaurant, but is very similar to the activities that you do there. Now, let's see the next one. I have here, oops, let's see. I have here different pictures. I want you to see the pictures and tell me what task do they do in their workplace every day. For example, look at the first picture. What is the occupation? What do you think? Secretary. The secretary, very good. So can you tell me what tasks does the secretary do every day? 
Make like calls. Make phone calls. So let's try to complete the sentences using frequency adverbs. For, for example, we can say, she always makes phone calls. Okay, sounds great. What else? Um, she always uh, print to activities. And oh, okay. She always prints activities. Uh, activities. Or, or no, uh, prints events or I don't know. Mm -hmm. or, or important information. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. What else? She, I want to listen to she, everyone. Uh -huh. she, she usually uh, make the schedule the bus the bus okay can i say make 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 or makes no make make okay. only a, make a schedule uh -huh. to the bus to the bus okay now if i'm talking about she do i need the letter s yes or no oh mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, I need it. Remember, if you have the frequency adverb, it doesn't matter because it's not an auxiliary. So you always need the letter S. So she usually makes schedule to the boss. Perfect. Uh huh. Anyone else? Um. She sometimes a uh, use the excel the ofimatic okay some excel the, the program ofimatic okay so we can say well but imagine think about excel do you think that the secretary doesn't use it uh she something use uh program of Imatic uh, and this container work uh, ah, okay. and, and others similar. Sounds good. Now, question. Can I say use? Or do I need the letter S? Ah, uh, yes. Use. So, pronunciation. What would be the pronunciation here? She something use. Uses. Uses? Uh -huh. uh, That's the one. Something used. Program of Imatic. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Now, can you tell me something that she never does? What is something that a secretary never does? What do you think? Anyone? What could be an activity that a secretary never does? She never eats <laughs> in her in her desk. Very good. What else? She never smoke in her desk. Very good. Definitely, right? Imagine a secretary smoking. My goodness. Sounds good. Sounds good. Excellent job. Now look at the next picture. What is the occupation? Sales person. <laughs> Very good. Yes, totally correct. So he's a salesperson or a seller. So can you mention some of the daily activities that this person does? Uh huh. What he do you think? Always order the inventory. Orders the inventory. That's the one. Letter is. Don't forget it. Very good. What else? It's similar to he, he always check the stock. Mm hmm. Checks. Very good. What else? Mm -hmm. 
Any other idea? Or can you tell me something that he never does? He always puts price to products on products. On the products, definitely. Yes. Very good, very good job. Now, how about this one? What's the occupation? Driver. It's a driver, yes. So what do you think? What are the activities that a driver always do? She always drive her car. All right. So he always drives his car, definitely. What else? Can I say that he always drink beers? Can I say that? He never drinks beer. That's correct. Excellent job. What else? Can you mention another one? Do you think that a driver um, goes to the gas station or not? Uh, do you think that they eat inside of the car or not? Drive carefully. So tell me, what are the activities that they always do? He never sleeps driving. <laughs> That's a very good one, definitely. Uh huh. One more. He always checks her vehicle in optimal uh, conditions. Good, definitely, very good job. All right, the last one. Do you remember the occupation? We checked that vocabulary yesterday. Chef. Chef, Chef or? The cook. Cook. Very good. Okay, can you tell me some of the daily activities that a cook does every day? He always cooks the food. Very good. He always cooks the food. Mm -hmm. He always wash her hands. Wash or washes? Washes her hands. Washes. <laughs> Correct, correct. What else? He always checks food in good condition. Perfect, definitely. Can you mention something that the, uh, the cook never does? Any idea? He never never ever ever cooks the food he never cooks the food overcooks ah overcook the food definitely they never do that excellent job so we are mm -hmm. talking about every task yes someone else he never use ingredient experience all right, expires ingredients. Remember, uses, okay? Very good, nice. Thank you so much for participating. Now, be careful, everyone, with the pronunciation of some verbs in third person, especially, for example, use. I know that the verb, the pronunciation is already ending in the letter S, use. So what do we need to do? We need to add another S. So when we add another S, the pronunciation will be uses, okay? It's the same example, imagine if I say kiss. In third person, what will be the pronunciation? Kisses. Kisses, very good. Imagine if I say wash in third person, what is the pronunciation? Washes. Washes, exactly. So when the verb is ending in a s, s 
sound and we add letter S. So we need to pronounce them correctly. Okay, very good. Now, always talking about everyday activities, we are going to have a listening practice, everyone. So it's time to practice listening. Let's see if you have been practicing. I have here three employees. I have Anthony Smart, Daniel Goldman, and Susan Clark. So they are going to describe their job. They will mention the position that they have inside of the company. They will talk about the responsibilities. That means the daily tasks that they do. They will mention what they like about their job and also the things that they don't like. Okay, so please Pay attention to the audio and try to complete their profiles, okay? The idea is in your notebooks, try to field all the information. And then we are going to see if the information that you wrote is correct or not. So is everybody ready? Yes, notebooks open, please, so you can copy the information. Imagine that this is an exam, so you have to do it perfectly, okay? So microphones off. I'm going to play the first audio that is Anthony Smart. Pay attention, please. If you cannot listen to the audio, let me know. My name's Anthony Smart. I'm the chief accountant for Excel Systems. I'm responsible for cash flow, credit control, preparing financial statements, accounting reports, and so on. On the whole, I enjoy my work. I've always enjoyed working with numbers. I also like the company culture and the people here at Excel. It's a very friendly and supportive work environment. One task I don't quite like is chasing money from late payers. That can be rather unpleasant sometimes. Okay, what is the name of the company that he works for? Could you listen to the audio? Or do you need to listen it to one more time? Yes, teacher. Please, one more no. time. <laughs> okay, no worries. I'm going to play it one more time. Pay attention, please. My name's Anthony Smart. I'm the chief accountant for Excel Systems. I'm responsible for cash flow, credit control, preparing financial statements, accounting reports, and so on. On the whole, I enjoy my work. I've always enjoyed working with numbers. I also like the company culture and the people here at Excel. It's a very friendly and supportive work environment. One task I don't quite like is chasing money from late payers. That can be rather unpleasant sometimes. I'm going to play the audio the last time. Pay attention. My name's Anthony Smart. I'm the chief accountant for Excel Systems. I'm responsible for cash flow, credit control, preparing financial statements, accounting reports, and so on. On the whole, I enjoy my work. I've always enjoyed working with numbers. I also like the company culture and the people here at Excel. It's a very friendly and supportive work environment. One task I don't quite like is chasing money from late payers. That can be rather unpleasant sometimes. Okay, do you have the information, everyone? So, so, teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. So, do you want to listen it the last time or are you ready? The last time. The last the, time? Yeah. Okay, I know that they speak a little bit fast. So the idea, everyone, don't copy, uh, I mean, everything. Just copy the keywords. The words that you understand, those are the words that you need to write it down. And then we are going to create the idea, okay? The last time, pay attention. My name's Anthony Smart. I'm the chief accountant for Excel Systems. 
I'm responsible for cash flow, credit control, preparing financial statements, accounting reports, and so on. On the whole, I enjoy my work. I've always enjoyed working with numbers. I also like the company culture and the people here at Excel. It's a very friendly and supportive work environment. One task I don't quite like is chasing money from late payers. That can be rather unpleasant sometimes. All right. So, everybody, what is the position? Chief account. Chief is it account. Chief account? Good Cheaper job. Account. It's a chief account. Very good. Can you mention some of the responsibilities that Anthony has? Cash flow. Very good. Credit account. control. Okay. Accounting. Mm -hmm. Accounting report. All right, that's correct. So he is responsible for the cash flows. He has to prepare financial statement. He has to control everything related to credit. Very good. Can you mention some of the activities that he enjoys about his job? His work. Okay. What else? Something specific? Working with numbers. Working with numbers, all right. Anything else? Show the people algo <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and actually, he does. He said that he loves working with numbers. He likes to work with the people in that company because he said that the uh, company has a very good environment. It's not toxic environment, right? It's very friendly. Okay, the last one. Can you mention something that he doesn't like? I don't know. <laughs> All right, anyone? Me, mm, chasing money. Chef chasing money. Chasing money than they pay. Okay, you got the right. idea. You got the idea. So he said chasing money from late payers. Oh, late. Um, what, okay. what do you think? What is the meaning of that? I don't know. Imagine that you go to, I don't know, La Curacao, Omnisport, Prado, I don't know, each one of those. And you buy a TV. So monthly, you have to pay. What happens if you don't pay? They will oh. call you and they will say, hey, you didn't pay this month, so you have to pay, okay? So that is something that he does. He has to chase the late payers. So he said that doesn't like it. I mean, I think that it would be uncomfortable, right? So that is something that he doesn't like. Very good, very good. Now, I know that the audio is a little bit difficult, but that's the idea, right? To increase the difficulties. Now, let's go with the number two, Daniel. The number two is easy because the position is already answered. Now, everybody, please pay attention, be ready. My name is Daniel Goldman, and I'm the Managing Director of Excel Systems. I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the business, including managing projects, organizing people's work, dealing with suppliers, and important customers. I'm also in charge of developing the company's long-term strategy. What I like most about my work is the responsibility, the challenge, and of course, the salary. I also really enjoy motivating and inspiring other people to achieve their goals and develop the company. The part I don't really like is the long hours. It's not uncommon for me to spend 12 hours in the office, which doesn't leave me much time for my family. On top of that, my job can get pretty stressful at times, especially when we have problems with our suppliers. I'm going to play the audio again. Pay attention. My name is Daniel Goldman, and I'm the Managing Director of Excel Systems. 
I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the business, including managing projects, organizing people's work, dealing with suppliers and important customers. I'm also in charge of developing the company's long-term strategy. What I like most about my work is the responsibility, the challenge, and of course, the salary. I also really enjoy motivating and inspiring other people to achieve their goals and develop the company. The part I don't really like is the long hours. It's not uncommon for me to spend 12 hours in the office, which doesn't leave me much time for my family. On top of that, my job can get pretty stressful at times, especially when we have problems with our suppliers. Okay, the last time. Pay attention. My name is Daniel Goldman, and I'm the Managing Director of Excel Systems. I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the business, including managing projects, organizing people's work, dealing with suppliers and important customers. I'm also in charge of developing the company's long-term strategy. What I like most about my work is the responsibility, the challenge, and of course, the salary. I also really enjoy motivating and inspiring other people to achieve their goals and develop the company. The part I don't really like is the long hours. It's not uncommon for me to spend 12 hours in the office, which doesn't leave me much time for my family. On top of that, my job can get pretty stressful at times, especially when we have problems with our suppliers. All right. Do you have the information? Yes? Or do you need to listen it one more time? The last one, please. The last time. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. Pay attention. My name is Daniel Goldman, and I'm the Managing Director of Excel Systems. I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the business, including managing projects, organizing people's work, dealing with suppliers and important customers. I'm also in charge of developing the company's long-term strategy. What I like most about my work is the responsibility, the challenge, and of course, the salary. I also really enjoy motivating and inspiring other people to achieve their goals and develop the company. The part I don't really like is the long hours. It's not uncommon for me to spend 12 hours in the office, which doesn't leave me much time for my family. On top of that, my job can get pretty stressful at times, especially when we have problems with our suppliers. Okay, so Daniel, the position is managing director. So can you tell me some of the responsibilities that he has? Developing long time strategy. Very good. Organize people work. All right, excellent. Managing projects. Okay. Uh-huh. Report a customer. Sorry? Report a customer. <clears throat> okay. Yes, look at this one. So basically, he has to manage the project. As your classmate says, he has to organize work, organize people. They had to deal with the suppliers, with the customers, and he develops strategies. Very good. Okay, can you tell me some of the aspects that he enjoys? I listen only the salary. Challenge. Responsibility, challenge, salary. This totally is motivate, totally motivated. Mo Very motivated. good. Motivate, yes. So, exactly. So, he enjoys the responsibility, right? He enjoys uh, the challenge, uh, motivate or inspire people. And, of course, right, the salary. <laughs> I think that everybody likes a good salary. Now, what are the aspects that he doesn't enjoy? The long hours. The long hours, definitely. Problem with uh, suppliers, I don't know. 
Okay. And he, he talked about this work is very stressful, especially when he has a problem with the suppliers. Yes. Correct. <laughs> exactly. So he doesn't like the long hours and the stress, right? Sometimes they have issues, so it's very stressing. Do you um, suffer it, it, stress? Uh, yeah. Do you right. suffer stress? <laughs> yes. Uh, a little bit. All the time. <laughs> Every <All> day. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Oops. He, Sometimes. He said that the long time used in the in, in her job um keep time with her family. Exactly. Imagine he said that he works 12 hours. So imagine the time that he spends with his family, it's very, very short. So how many hours do you work a day? Do you work 12 hours? Yes, no, sometimes. In my case, not really, because we have um, um, a schedule uh, mm -hmm. from seven at uh, to five o'clock in the noon. But I have a big problem: is the traffic in the in the road. I travel for two or three hours in the morning. Imagine. And, yeah, and the uh, the uh, this time is very very stressful and very long time. Yeah, sometimes the traffic is more yeah. stressful than the job. So sometimes, and that is a pretty sad truth in our country. You can work maybe eight hour, uh, but you spend three or more hours in stuck in the traffic. So at the end, it's like if you work for 12 hours. So the time that you spend with your family is very short. That's pretty, pretty sad. Okay, now let's see the last one about Susan. So everybody pay attention, please, and try to take note. I hope everybody's trying. Okay, the idea of this practice is that everybody try to listen, try to understand. Okay, pay attention. My name is Susan Clark. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, I'm going to play you again. Pay attention. My name is Susan Clark. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, I'm going to play it the last time. Pay attention. My name is Susan Clark. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. 
What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Uh -huh, everybody, do you have the information? Yes, teacher. Yes, everyone? Hmm, okay, let's see. What is the position? Human, Human resource. resource Manager. Manager. Very good. Yes, exactly. Manager. Human Resources Manager. Very good. Okay. Tell me one of the responsibilities that she has. Recruit new employees. Very good. Entering the company staff. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Make Organizing. Okay. Organize. Sorry. Organize training for employees. All training right. for employees. Very good. I could see that in the last one, you paid more attention. <laughs> exactly, right? That's what she does. She has to recruit and organize training. She has to recruit new employees. Um, she has Make to sense. try to improve the conditions in the company. Work okay. Good condition, good working conditions. Exactly, very good. And what are the aspects that she likes? Work with people. Work Try with people. people. Employees. <laughs> okay, that is something that she likes or that she doesn't like? Oh. <clears throat> Working with people. Working with people. Okay. That's something that she likes. Okay, what else? Um, see the skills. Very good. Skills. I'm uh, listening about this developer skills. That's the one. So imagine mm. she loves working with people and also she loves to see when an employee improves, when an employee develops their skills. So she feels happy when, they, uh, when she sees that the coworker is, is doing her job or his job in a very good way. Now, what are the aspects that she doesn't like? Uh -huh. uh, someone too many days off. Algo okay, <laughs> something like that. All right. Anyone else? What did she say? Something that she doesn't like. Difficult, <laughs> difficult employees. Very good. She doesn't like difficult employees. Can you mention some of the characteristics of the difficult employees? Delayed. <laughs> <Be late. laughs> always the people that are always late what else anything else okay look so she said she doesn't like dealing with difficult employees and she said those one that are always late the um some employees that take a lot of days off that are irresponsible, right? So you talk about deadlines, but I don't understand what is the, the concept. Oh, deadlines. Remember that deadlines is like um, the time that you have to do something. For example, imagine that your manager says, eh, I need you to do this work by Friday. And it's Friday and you didn't. So you didn't uh, do the deadline. No cumplieron con la deadline. So that is something that affects the job, right? Now, let me ask you, are you difficult employees or not? Hmm, what do you think? Uh -huh, everybody, do you consider yourself difficult employees or not? 
<laughs> I will ask your supervisors. Aha, uh -huh, supervisors. Sí, do... sí, bien, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you have difficult employees or not? I think that no. I think uh, the the people that I work with them is um, um, a good people, a, a good employees, and uh, have a, a good uh, feel and uh, they are very motivated and I think that um, is um, it's a good company and a good employees. Very good, nice. Okay, I hope everybody, please, you have to be very good employees. Now, we are going to have a similar practice but now I want you to complete this chart, but with your own information. Tell me about you. For example, you have to tell me what's the position at work. You can say, ah, I am a front desk, or I am a manager, or I am a secretary. I don't know. So tell me the position. You had to tell me the responsibilities. Please, in the responsibilities, tell me at least three activities, okay? So three tasks that you do, okay? I'm going to write it in that way, okay? Three tasks that you do at work, okay? Then about the aspects that you enjoy, also, please try to tell me two or three aspects, okay? And about the negatives, the things that you don't like, also you can tell me two or three, okay? So I'm going to give you a three minutes to complete this chart. So everybody, Talk about you. Complete this chart with your own information. Go ahead. You have four minutes to do it. You can complete this work uh, in your notebooks. Okay, so you can write it, write the information, think about the responsibilities that you have. Think about what you enjoy, okay? Go ahead, I will give you four minutes. If you have questions, just let me know. Complete the chart, please, with your own information. Remember, this is about you. 
about your information. If you have questions about the vocabulary or you don't know how to say something, please tell me and I will help you. Try to give me details, okay? Remember, the idea is to talk a lot. So mention responsibilities that you have. Tell me the aspects that you like and the ones that maybe you don't like a lot. Complete the chart. You have two more minutes. If you don't understand the activity, please tell me. I can explain again, okay? Two more minutes. Ready? Everybody, did you finish or not yet? Not yet, teacher, right now. This okay. Is a little bit more. Okay, I will give you more time. All right. If you have questions, everybody, please tell me. I want to everybody do the activity, please. Complete the chart. If you have questions, please let me know. Sure. Yes, tell me. How do you say hora de entrada? <laughs> hmm, you can say, let me think, what would be the best option? Do you mean when you start working? Yes. Okay, you can say entry time or like this. I'm going to write it here. Entry time or the start time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to start. You are ready? Yes, I don't write anything. I. You just 
thought about it. Yeah, I improvise. <laughs> That's great. Uh, for, for for me, actually, for me, no, it's a good point. Write things. I lose the idea. <laughs> when you write. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my position in the company is, is sell out. Is the name of the position, but is a supervisor. We we supervise the distributors. Actually, it's one of my responsibilities. Yeah. Uh, supervise the distributor, check the KPIs every day, and probably is to follow the KPIs every day. The the distributor may go. I don't know. Almost complete complete the KPIs. Okay. Uh, three I three things or two things I enjoy. One is my knowledge grow every day about the business. Mm -hmm. I training people. I pro I training people. Pro I train employees. Probably I. I try the next generation of leaders. Oh, very good. Mm, yeah. I just enjoy probably the hours, but it's part of my it's part of my routines. So many hours at work. Yeah. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Uh -huh, everybody. Did you finish? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to ask I'll say, Luis. I'll say Luis, I'll say Luis. I'm sorry? I'll say Luis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Um, but let's do something because I can see that it's very late. Pensé que era más temprano. I'm sorry. Okay, because of the time, maybe I cannot ask one by one here because that was the idea. But um, I think that better we are going to do it in teams. Okay, let's go to work in groups. And I want you to share the information with your classmates. But Pay attention to your classmates. Try to understand what your classmate is saying, okay? It's not necessary to write the answers. For example, if a, what? Maybe Henry says, ah, I like a, the salary, for example. It's not necessary that you write the answer. Just listen and pay attention. Okay. In his it, case, it's true. I'm sorry. In his case, it's true. It is. Ah. <laughs> oh, the salary. Yeah. Is that true? Is that true, Henry? No me puedo quejar. <laughs> okay, very <laughs> good. Está viendo Tony, me puede, me puede correr. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Uh, please, supervisors, in this moment. Let's pretend that you are not the supervisors, okay? Just make fun. Okay, in this moment, zero Spanish, please. If you are in a group that, you know, nobody's participating or they are listeners, so tell me and I can switch you to a different team, okay? So everybody, zero Spanish, let's go to work. I'm mute. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hola. No. Good. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. <clears throat> How are you? I Fine. You. I feel you. <laughs> Fine. Thanks. <clears throat> Well, who is a star? You. 
Okay, I start. Um, well, um, the position in my work, I am a production manager. Um, uh, someone's responsibilities are, uh, for example, achieve the production program, schedule the new products, and every day I check the staff efficiency. And what I like to my job, I enjoy the motivation people. I like this. I like meet uh, with different person, um, my coworkers, uh, and the other people. And obviously my salary. And what don't like it, I don't I don't enjoy. Um my work is very stressful. Yeah, the um, achieve the goals um is very hard in because you depend for the other people and this one uh, make the stressful to my work and the long time for travel to my work every morning uh, is very hard the traffic is terrible mm, only only that <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> right. In and my you? case, um, the position um, I assist in administrative, but I design <laughs> and others. Um, many things. All, all. <clears throat> Perdón. Hola, <I> Ken. <laughs> eh, do. My responsibility, responsibility is take orders, um, design, printer, and finish the products, and organize the schedule for the week. But is. Son sonate in the triangle of the. Uh, Green Hill. Green Hill. Green Hill. Cerro Verde. Ah, <laughs> very good, very good, very good. But I, I remember that the teacher said uh, then personal numbers is the same in Spanish or in English. Like when you say Juan Antonio, you could say John Anthony. Oh. John Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I what don't do you enjoy. enjoy uh -huh. This is enjoy. Uh, and you does the other the other side, the other side. <laughs> By the, the side. way, uh, okay. the long the long hours. The long hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the high work load. The high work load. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. High work load. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm moving from San Salvador to Santa Ana. Okay. Only that. <laughs> <laughs> Only three. <laughs> she she said right three three <laughs> options. Only. Okay. I mean, but if you I have took, if you have I more, took, you I can. Note. This is this is the moment you can <laughs> take it out. Everything. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Okay. A lot of so Tony take note <laughs> yes i took note okay how about edwin <laughs> did edwin already answer no 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 okay, okay. Uh, i'm a developer engineer mm -hmm. uh, i develop is correct develop 
application. Develop. Uh, develop applications and develop new reports and resolve issues in the application. Uh, Do you have many applications? Yes. Uh, no, <laughs> we, for around four applications. Yeah, almost one. When you say four, it's, it's very various <laughs> application, but it's okay. It's okay. You resolve the problem of the four application or more application that the company have. Uh, no, uh, the company have have many application, but uh, I work uh, como para how do you say un área específico de more specific a more specific area. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay, and I, I understand you because we okay. have um application for sales, application for auditory, auditory exactly. for for uh, technician people and, exactly. and whatever uh, departments. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, okay. Okay. Very interesting. And I enjoy uh resolve issues from my co-workers. <laughs> And In competition. <laughs> Take the a lunch. First Friday, the, the, the may taste me. <laughs> <laughs> and take a lunch with my co-workers. And create new app, new apps is is very nice <laughs> okay. for me. And I don't like a, a start time. Because I think it's too early. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and the food is very bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's in interesting. The Inside the company, <laughs> you have lunch in the company. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, in the company. Free lunch. In the, uh, excuse me? You have free lunch. In your you no, no, no. I I pay. Uh, oh, it's okay. a it's a cafeteria. It's a, yes, it's a cafeteria. Uh, no. One moment. You we have, have a cafeteria. Lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat? You, you have a time to lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you have a. You oh you God. are you're lucky because you have time for ah. lunch. They don't have time for lunch. Mm, so so. <laughs> okay. Because okay. the food is is not delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Edwin. Uh huh. Okay. Who's next? Uh, Tony is the. Last. Okay. Go ahead. Uh. Okay. Mm. Let me enjoy. Okay. Well, um, my position is territorial sales manager in Claro El Salvador. Um, a few of responsibility is um, uh, meet the sales budget, um, um, meet the quality indicators of sales, uh, increase the sales, and improve. Uh, the market shared on, on different regions or departments in El Salvador. Uh, this is a, a few um, responsibilities that I have, but this is too, too long the, the list. But for uh, uh, an example is uh, this course, uh, uh, responsibility. And I really think that the, I, I enjoy, I, I love my work. And then uh, I think the most important is the work with people, uh, they are the uh, most cool, the, the motor of the, the sales in Claro. And uh, uh, uh -huh. everyone, did you finish? Yes, we're finished. Okay, can you tell me everybody, let's see something that you enjoy of your work?
Ajá. En mi case. Uh, Karen, can you repeat? En mi case. Um, enter a ley. What is, um, what is that? Entrar tarde. Enter oh, late. you enter late. Hey, that's a very good. What, what time do you start? Nine. Eight, eight. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a very good schedule. Um, no more Saturday. Very good. Uh, I like the word environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, those ones are very good. Nice. Who else? Can you tell me the aspects that you enjoy? I enjoy work from home. <laughs> Ah, very good. Me too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love that. What else? Uh, I don't work on weekends. Very good. You are very lucky. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. Anything else? I like advice to my clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And we solve conflicts. Sorry? Re resolve conflicts. Oh, very good. Uh huh. And trade yeah. with my people. I like trade with the people. Nice, very good. Okay, I think Ezekiel is listener, right? Yes. Okay, well, we don't have more time, so let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Very good. All right, all right, time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Time's up, everyone. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we are going to wait for everyone to join us. Let's go back, let's go back. All right, let's see. Very interesting answers, everyone. Nice job. Okay. What do you think, everybody? Was it easy to understand your classmates? Yes or no? Did you understand the answers that your classmates provided? Yes? Uh-huh. Yes, teacher. English or Spanish? Did you listen to Spanish in the answers? Full English, teacher. Full English, that's the idea. Okay, very good, very good. Interesting answers. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating. Something that I really like is that you provided a lot of details. I was listening to different groups and they provided different details. Not only one, they gave a lot of information. That's great. Something that I like too is that you provide a... English, right? I know that sometimes we have issues with some specific words, but most of the time you talk in English. Excellent. Now, little details that uh, we need to consider. Uh, I was listening these uh, little details and everyone pay attention here. Imagine if I say, hey, I like meet new persons. Is that sentence correct? Yes or no? I like meet, meet new persons. I like to meet. Ah, very good. Look, first we need to separate the verbs. Remember, we cannot put the verbs together. So you can say, I like to meet now, new persons, is that correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm, are you sure? People. New people. Ah, okay. People Pet persons is in, in, in plural. So look, persons doesn't exist. Okay, so the correct word is person. Person is for singular. That means only one. What is the plural? The plural is people. People. Okay, so if you are talking in plural, you have to say people. If you are talking in singular, so you can say person. But don't say persons. Mm -mm. Okay, you have to say people. It's like when you say in Spanish, PSSS. Exactly. Yes, and that is not correct. So be careful with the plurals and singulars. Now, third person, the company have. Can I say that? Has. Correct. <laughs> so is third person, everyone. So company has. Look at this. I enjoy resolve resolving very good now pay attention we always need to separate the verbs but specifically with the verb enjoy we need to be careful because after enjoy the verb always has to be a gerund Okay, so for example, ah, I enjoy um, eating with my coworkers forever. For example, if you say I enjoy to eat, that's not correct. Always has to be a gerund. Yes, Tony, do you have a question? Hello? Microphone. Uh, Microphone, yeah. Okay, um, go ahead. The, the same example with the first sentence. Can you say, I like meeting new person? Yes. Look, the verb like is very flexible. That means that both options are correct. So you can say, I like to meet or I like meeting so you can use infinitive or you can use sure. gerunds both are correct but exactly in the case of enjoy enjoy is not flexible if you want to use the verb enjoy the next verb it has to be always a gerund, okay? Again, if you say, um, I enjoy working with my classmate. If you say, I enjoy, oh, sorry, sorry. If you say, I enjoy it to work, no. This sentence is not correct. You have to use gerunds. Uh-huh, Tony? You, can you um, have a list of Flexible verb like, like, like well, the verb like. Actually, there is a list. Uh, it's a little bit long <laughs> um, about what verbs are flexibles, the verbs that are not flexibles. Um, I can share it with you tomorrow if you want, uh, because I would like to pick at least just the most common verbs. I don't want to give you like a verb 100 verbs because it's like too long. I want I will pick the most common verbs for you and I will share it tomorrow. Okay? But for example, another mm -hmm. verb that is very flexible is for example, hate. If you use hate, it's similar to like. So you can use it with infinitive and also with ing. I'm going to share the list tomorrow with the most common. So it will be easier for you. Okay. Now, 
Um, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance again before I forgot. So everybody, if you listen to your names, please say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Blanca Elizabeth. Atilio ahí está y no contestó. Present teacher. Ah, Atilio, wake up, wake up. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay. Henry Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jorge John. <laughs> yes, Atilio. I already yes, I already got it. No worries. Um okay, let's see. Jose Ezequiel. Present. Thank you. Eh, Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Right. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. Eh, Carol Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Kenya Elizabeth. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Thank you. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Enrique. Present. Great job. All right. Excellent, everyone. Now, in the groups, can you tell me or something in common that you discover in the questions? Can you tell me things that you have in common about the things that you enjoy or the things that you don't like about your jobs? Do you have things in common? Uh-huh. Or not? Anything? Or you don't remember what your classmate no. said. <laughs> I don't remember, but but this is not so common. But in in the group, we like to work with people. Ah, um, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. And everybody, tell me, do your classmates enjoy the salary? Or they didn't say. No. no. Think of work for the salary. Ah, you work with passion. <laughs> with passion, uh, um, for for the time with the co-workers. I know. I I I work for, uh, for for a sport. <laughs> like a hobby, right? <laughs> like a hobby. Yes, yes. Nice. Okay. Now we already practice speaking. Now uh, we already practice listening too. Now it's time to practice a little bit reading. We don't have a lot of time, so this practice is going to be very short. So let's see a description of a specific job and I will need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read the first paragraph? Only one, please. Thank you, Tony, go hey, ahead. Teacher. Okay, Tony lifted his hand first, go ahead. Okay. My job is especially, and I love it. I am a commercial airline pilot. That means I don't drive to work. I fly. In act, I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. It's not surprising then that my best friend lives in Japan. When I'm going, when I'm in Tokyo, he always invite, invites me to have dinner with him and his family. 
Thank you. All right. So he, what is his job? Pilot. He's a pilot. Very pilot. good. It is specifically commercial airline pilot. So imagine everybody, would you like to be a pilot? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yeah. Imagine he can visit basically different continents, Asia, North America, South America, different countries. That sounds good. But let's see some negative aspects. I would like uh, somebody else reading, please, the next paragraph. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, I listen to Edwin. Go ahead, Edwin. Thank you. Okay. Is my job perfect? No, it's not. Because I fly across many different time zones. I sometimes go to bed at 2 a.m. At other times, I go to bed at 2 p.m. That kind of a schedule isn't easy. In addition, my job often separates me from my wife and two children. They live in New York and often I am many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. However, I think I have an exciting job and my kids think it's great that I can say hello in 18 different languages. Well. <laughs> languages, okay. So can you mention some of the negative aspects that he said about his job? The job often separates from my wife and my two children. That's True, imagine he cannot see his wife and his children all the time. Very good. What else? Another negative aspect? Uh, he cross uh, many different time zones and his affect your uh, rest hours. That's true. He uh, These different time zones affect his schedule, right? So sometimes he sleeps at one time, another day to another time. So that will be very difficult. And where does he live? In New York. In New York. And he can say hello in how many different languages? Eight languages. Eight? Eight. Eighteen. 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 Imagine that sounds great. Okay, now, um, we don't have like a lot of time, but we are going to do this activity. If you don't finish today, it will be a homework. It's a writing practice. We don't usually do writing practice because you have the platform, but today we are going to do it. I want you to write a short paragraph of, um, about your job and the tasks that you do every day. Try to use um, frequency adverb, please. And also try to tell me the details that you like and the ones that you don't like, okay? Don't worry because um, this homework will be read but just by me, okay? Your supervisors or someone in your job, they are not going to... Uh, read what you write, okay? But for this activity, um, you are going to do it here. Look at this. Uh, can you see the form that I'm sharing? Yes, teacher. Okay, I need you to write first your full names and then write your paragraph. It's not necessary to be so long. Okay, but at least three or five lines, it will be good. What I want to see is your spelling, the way that you write. I want to see the grammar 
And remember, imagine one day you will need to write an email in English, so you have to do it in a perfect way. It has to be clear and be careful, be careful with the spelling, okay? So uh, we don't have time, so this is going to be your homework, but you will have tonight and tomorrow, so before the class, I want to everybody done this. When you finish, just click in send, okay? And automatically I will receive your answer. It's not necessary to take a screenshot, okay? It's not necessary to send the screenshot on WhatsApp's group, no, okay? When you send it, I automatically will receive it. Be careful with the names. Don't write just, for example, Anna. No, because if we have different people with the same name, mm -mm. so please, full names. Is it clear, this homework, everyone? Yes? Great. Yes, yes teacher. I'm going to share it on WhatsApp's group at the end of the class. Again, you have today and you have tomorrow to complete it. Again, it's not necessary to be so long. Now, before leaving everyone, I just want to remind you the platform. Some of you haven't finished uh, the unit number two and some of you haven't done the exam. So please remember that is on the platform. You have to finish the unit and you have to finish uh, the exam by tomorrow, okay? Now, uh, as always, there is a winner to stay after the class. And today's winner is, da, 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 da. well, let me see if it is here. Uh, okay. Juan Jose Herrera is here. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Okay. You are the winner. The rest of you, everybody, you can leave. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. Good Bye. night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, only Juan Jose stays. Okay, hello Juan, how hello. are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. The reason of this little meeting is just to uh, answer some questions that you may have about the class, about a topic in general, or about the platform or the program. This is the moment just for you. So do you have any questions? Uh, no, I for the moment, I don't have a question. Uh, a few days ago, I had a question, but when you explain something, there are the answer for my question. And what was the question? About when, when we answer um, infrequently, in frequently uh, adverbs. Mm -hmm. If I can use do or does in the in for question and an answer, but I see I, I saw example and we use a, a do does to to answer and to make a question. Okay, very good, very good. All right, what do you feel that is more difficult for you um, in English? Listening or speaking or writing or reading or grammar in general? What do you think? What is for you most difficult? I think it's all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe speaking because um, we have a problem when we think before in Spanish and after translate in English, and that's wow. difficult to, to do that. Yeah, you know, actually that is very uh, common. That is something that some of your classmates told me all the time that they always feel that they first translate and they later speak. But, you know, this is with the practice. The more you practice, uh, 
with the time your brain will get used to and you won't need to translate anymore. So it will be easier for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so practice, practice, practice. Now, um, let's see according to the platform. Okay, did you finish the exam? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm just I'm just checking the platform right now. And yes, I can see you did it. And very good score. I liked it. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. Keep going. Uh, you are doing a great job. You are participating a lot. So I hope you keep going like that. Uh, try to help your classmate too. Sometimes when you are in, in the groups, I could see that you are trying to help your classmates. So excellent. I like that. So keep going. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Any other comment that you may have? No, I don't think so. No complaints. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Then, so Juan Jose, I hope you can enjoy your night and don't uh, forget to assist to the class tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank Very you. Very good. Okay. See you. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye.